previous episodes, we spoke about PEEP. But I realized we didn't make a specific distinction between the different types of PEEP. There's the extrinsic PEEP. That's the PEEP that we dial into the ventilator. Typically, we say a PEEP of five. And then the PEEP that we've been talking about, the auto PEEP, is what we call intrinsic PEEP. That's PEEP generated within the patient's lungs from air trapping. This is the one we want to focus on. This one is easy to measure because that is what the ventilator tells us that the machine is providing. This one is also easy to find, but you have to do something first with the ventilator. You have to push a button on the ventilator called the end expiratory hold. And if you don't know where this button is, ask your respiratory therapist. Pushing on this holds the flow to zero at the end of the person's mechanical breath. And this is going to figure out what the person's intrinsic PEEP is. Now, after you find out that the person has intrinsic PEEP, we'd like to get rid of it. We talked about providing more time in expiration or decreasing the inspiratory time. And we can do this by decreasing the respiratory rate, decreasing the eye time, or decreasing the tidal volume. Sometimes you'll do all this stuff and it's still not enough. Because when you have a patient that is triggering the mechanical breath, if you have too much auto PEEP, it's going to be very difficult for that patient to spontaneously trigger the breath and it's going to increase their work of breathing. So let's take this patient and let's say that their intrinsic PEEP is 15. This person has to pull 15 centimeters of water before they're able to trigger the breath. This is going to be very, very hard for the patient to do. So after you do all these maneuvers and the person still has this much auto PEEP, the next move is increase the person's extrinsic PEEP. Now, most people say you want to increase the PEEP by two thirds, the value of your intrinsic PEEP. And by doing this, it's going to make it much easier for the patient to take a spontaneous breath.